Hey yo, my Platicuser friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Farada. Hey yo! And welcome back to another Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're gonna be looking at the Old West theme park created by Eaglesaur88. And here they say, created for the Channel 5 Gaming Theme Park Contest, enter the world of the Old West in this Old West theme park. Store your horse in the stable while staying at the hotel. Planning your robbery at the Valley Forge Gold Bank. Don't get caught by the sheriff and then go to jail. Miners work the old gold mine, pulling raw gold and sending it to the gold nugget mill for processing. The gold whip will get you ready for the gold bank. Watch for the bandit will steal it. Horse was created. Theme Maker Toolkit was created by Castaway. Fonts created by Paul H. Haplo. And that's it. Okay, let's get stealing some gold. Yeehaw! Yee welcome. Welcome, welcome to the Old West theme park. Uh, this is, is this the entrance? Or... I think so. Not really, uh... Not really an entrance, but for a, I gate, like to... for a gatekeeper coaster, it's very uh, flat. <laughs> Got to get a couple airtime hills in there. A sign yeah. would be nice. Mm -hmm. But that water well looks cool. It's a great looking skin. Yeah, that, that skin looks pretty cool. I'm having a hard time with volume because I can only hear from one ear. Only a couple more dates. Get this fixed. All right. Oh wow! Now we there we go. The Old West Theme Park. Fonts by Haplo. You don't have to put it there. On your Steam page, it's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, those are interesting lanterns. Yeah. That's fun with that wheel and then having multiple of them hanging. <clears throat> pow, 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 pow! <laughs> Neato. The cowboy hut. Get your burgers and water. And there's your theme maker toolkit horse. For shade. Nice, nice. Hmm. Okay, where are we going? I don't know. Is that a right skin right ahead? The green uh, building? I call a carousel. No, maybe not. <laughs> he might be right. <laughs> ah! Yeah! <laughs> I was right. Very popular ride, but hey, that is pretty. That is really. That's a pretty. cool building. I like that. The pretty bandit. fits. Let's check out the bandit. Wait, that's the cue for the carousel. No, is that what you called the band? No, ah, two cues. All right. Wait, the Bandit Hotel. This is a ride. The hotel oh, is a ride. I like this with the red rock and the, the for, uh, green stuff. <laughs> green, green, green stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The green stuff's looking great. Same with the pink stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Very nice. I like it. What you did with the queue as well. Look at that crazy looking rock. <laughs> Looks malnourished and it's falling apart. Yeah. Like me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dog squad, coffee soda. Bandit Hotel. So it's not really a hotel, it's a coaster! What do we Station have here? Sorry, this is a bit uh, bare. Yeah. Yeah. Steel Vengeance hybrid, green across the board, almost 1,200 meters in length. Good duration, minute and a half. Exciting. Cut to it when it's ready here. Oh, it's ready. I think we're gonna go to the back. Let's check it out.
Okay, I quite like that. Add some good RMC elements, great park traversals, pretty smooth coaster overall. The only thing that I would really change here is this, uh, put more airtime bumps on your way through. Uh, going over the arch of the park there would have been a nice... Like, I don't know why it's unnecessarily straight for so long. And then the jail, we didn't get a really good glimpse of it, and what we did see feels unfinished in here. It's a little bit messy, but... Okay, it looks like it's a queue. All these people are in prison. But you did mention that the bandit was going to go to jail, so I think it fits with your story. I quite think that's kind of fun. What do you think, Piranha? I think, um, I mean, that I agree with you what you said about the unfinished look. Um, uh, <clears throat> would have been nice if you would have some, uh, little bit more, ex not necessarily extremer elements, but, uh, it felt like some parts could have used a bit more spike, I guess. I don't know how you say it. Um, mm -hmm. and theming wise, I, I would have loved to see a little bit more. Um, it was just. Yeah, just traversing a bit through Red Rock, and then there was suddenly that, that jail. I mean, um, yeah, no, you're yeah, right. If used a bit more clutter, a bit more detail, um, would have been nice. A bit more story. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, your pathway here, if you look at how like the the road is very dry. I mean, you did some fencing, you got the lanterns, you got the bins and the benches, but it still feels really repetitive and dry and boring. Whereas if you look at what you've done over here see how it immediately changes right so i try to try to incorporate some of that terrain work on the outside of the park we allowed it right and some of that painting it feels so cut so dry and whereas other parts it doesn't need to be that way you can add some extra boulders in there add some extra paint a variation a little bits of green here and there and uh more foliage because uh there's long stretches of nothing to look at but lamp posts you know that that contrast of the green uh, the green stuff with the red rocks is just really really beautiful. So mm -hmm. you should use that in your advantage. Oh what the heck! Oh, where's the right here? What I is did this? Not What's this? all that gold? Oh, is yeah. this the treasure room or something? I guess so, but I did not expect. They're having it. a we're party. Like, we're in like a okay, loft. So. <laughs> it's very crampy and claustrophobic in here. Yeah, I would have. Oh, if this us? is. What the heck? Is there a roof on top? Or is this just flat? Oh. What the heck? Well, I would have opened it to... I don't know what it is. Is it a warehouse? I don't quite know. There's so yeah. much space in there. You could have really opened it up. Yeah, exactly. And use beams and stuff like that to connect everything. You know, if it just feels too much like an open space, just try to make a structure that, that looks... Um... Um convincing and it looks yeah. so grand on the outside that i expect that kind of same feel on the inside and you know what looking at it from the back side of the park there's some really good compositions going here yeah that are i quite like that building put completely hidden and tucked off in the back side where i feel like if you would have flipped this around and because this path doesn't serve anything other than to go to this building the gold nugget which is not really doing much Restaurant. so if you if you think about it if you push this building right to the back, flip this to the other direction, then when you come in the... Well, I guess you can kind of see it there, but... Just trying to think, like, the way the coaster flows in and out of the building, the way this comes up, it's such a great composition that you'd want to see from the front of the park, but I guess you've kind of mirrored it on both sides. So it's... But it is feeling a little bit strange that this whole back of the park here is... Uh, a pathway to this one building. I feel like if you shuffled everything, you could have fit a lot more over here. Is that right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, mostly it's just, from the outside. The building just looks really good. Um, it's it a shame does. that you didn't get to use that same grand feel in the inside. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, looks like there's another coaster. Or is this? All, okay, yeah, oh wow. So that is the one we rode already. So I'm guessing the Old West... Wait, that's the park entrance. <laughs> I'm so confused um, right now. Well, we have seen the carousel oh, and we have seen the ride in the attic. Um, of like here? the treasure room or something. Oh wait, that's for the Helion. And that looks really cool, oh, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, so that's the third one. 
I like that right skin a lot. That looks really good. I think that's it. Yeah, I guess the point that I was trying to make, just to pause for a second, is this area is feeling a little bit more open and westerny and gives you really good vibes. But then it's a little, feeling a little bit claustrophobic back here where I couldn't, like, the park is here and the entrance is here. So that you see what I'm saying? Like, by this could have easily been outside the park. We would have allowed that. And then you would be entering the park here and you'd have all this plaza space to really build your Western town, which would be inclusive to what's back here. And then all this path space could be pushed back. And then you just have a little bit more breathing room. I feel like you were entering the park, but we're already halfway through the park something weird is going on there where i feel like this is one of the ones that's suffering from being too crampy with the space that was given yeah valley forge uh, sometimes it feels like someone starts to build at one point and then they keep going keep going add more and they don't feel it's almost like they're scared to change stuff around again right if you make everything a, a building or a group of buildings then you can you know rotate them and move them around a bit make them a blueprint even you know just relocate them uh, um, yeah, maybe spend a little bit, little bit more time planning. Um, not that you didn't do that, but you know, some people haven't done that, and it shows because it looks added. Yeah, oh, added. well said. Well said. Okay, here we go. Okay, that, that felt, uh, it, that was a good flowing wooden coaster. I like all the little gold elements that you got in there. I'm trying to think, I mean, the gold rooms themselves. Okay, th no, that looks cool. Huh, hmm. those blocks. The actual mining elements felt a little bit short-lived is where I'm thinking. It's, yeah. It could have been a little bit more of an excavation inside of there. Mm hmm it's just kind of gold put on the walls, but we did see those guys, but we didn't see them from the angle of the coaster. I didn't even notice them because I think we came through yeah. this way. So I saw the gold, but I wouldn't really, you know, we need those um, boards hanging up there, the lamp posts, really make this structurally sound coming in and out. That's that's where it needs a little bit more improvement for a mining run, right? Yeah. If you give yourself a little bit more space in those mining caves, then you can make that overview of what you're actually mining before you're already out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's hard in a park like this, I know, mm, but maybe you could have given yourself a little bit more room. Yeah, Just clutter you're... all that gold everywhere. You definitely have the room to work with considering you're going for um, caves and mines, and that actually extends the height of your map, so it gives you a lot more space to work with. But with that said, you're kind of, you cramped yourself in and cornered yourself into certain spots where it is feeling crampy. By putting your park entrance in the middle of the park, you could have extended out there. This is a this is a, a space management issue, but I like the fact that you try to squeeze in two large coasters that look really great perspectively from the outside and different views of the park. The terrain work on the outside looks fun. I think what you're really missing out here is the vibrance of a theme park. And we look at this, it's very, I mean, it's Western, it's dry, it's supposed to be, but as we've seen, from probably a dozen other Western parks in this contest so far is that everyone's really trying to make these Western parks feel alive. And we're getting that a little bit over here, but you got to push that nature. This is the only spot in the whole park that has foliage. I really like that spot a lot. Because <laughs> it it's alive. <laughs> yeah, it's alive. It's vibrant. The contrast of the green and the red is just really nice. And um, yeah, you should push that a bit more. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and with the, the gold mines and the, doing the mine shafts and stuff like that, 
getting a lot more of those mining lights in there. I mean, uh, it looks, it's got some at nighttime here, but that is actually from the pathways themselves. Got a little bit on the inside yeah. here. But what I was going to say is you can use some of that mining decoration to your advantage to make things pop a little bit, like a lot more boarded structures and, you know, scaffold and things undulating and sticking out of the mountain some, you know, structural supports and things like that. And it just gives it that little bit more of like a crazy look where it, it, it becomes like an un, uh, unorganized, chaotic. It, it has this chaos uh, about it, but you can yeah. kind of take that and use that to your advantage and keep building on that. So when you get walking, you're like, holy crap. And then you have that greenery in the background and stuff. And it would really bring that whole composition together. And, um, you know, I like the idea of you got the water wheel, the waterfalls. Maybe if we had some more of that, some waterfalls coming off the side and things like that, that would also help too, because we get that nice bluey color in there from the waterfalls and some trees up top. So I think the composition as a whole, <clears throat> it's looking good, but it just needs to be, you just need to add more to it. And uh, space management, definitely an issue here. But yeah. that's the challenge of a 40 by 40 mini park. And I, yeah. knew, I knew we were gonna go into this and some people weren't gonna be able to figure out how to use that space quite efficiently. And it's a struggle, it's a challenge. These are the constraints we give you and see how you can do on it, uh, how, what you can do with it and how you can improve on it for the future. And uh, maybe in the future we'll, uh, we'll look into giving a little bit more space. I definitely think this contest has been a lot of fun and I wouldn't mind doing a part two at some point in the future, so. <laughs> I think everyone's going to get a shot to do this again, probably in 2021. So, I mean, everyone's enjoying it. I've been enjoying looking at these, the viewers. I see everyone's having an outstanding time in the comments and everyone participating had a lot of fun too. So I don't think maybe a coaster contest should be the only thing. I think a lot of people have been waiting for a contest like this. You can see it and how many people have the... submitted. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> it's just the insane amount of... Of, of submissions for this contest. It's amazing. And um, you can also see how much fun everyone had building. Yeah, um, for sure. So good job on this one today. Eagle Soar 88 on the Old West theme park. What did you guys think? Leave your comments, critiques, and compliments down in the comments section below. And that is going to do it for us in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye now. Doi!